Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my second video. In first video, I shown you how to do encryption and decryption using Caesar cipher technique. In second video, I am going to show you how to do encryption and decryption using Warloop cipher method. So let's get started. Warnum cipher. Now, as from the first video, now you know that uh, in Caesar cipher also, to do encryption, we need plain text, we need key, and we get cipher text using this plain text and key. And in the first video, I had explained you why we need a cipher text, why we need to convert a plain text into cipher text. So in this video, let's see how this plain text get converted into cipher text using Warham cipher method. Plain text, we take the same plain text that is hello. And I hope that word part you have solved using the cipher. Here we are taking the plain text hello. In Warham cipher, key is any random alphabets. You can take any random alphabet. But you have to remember one thing, the length of the key and the plain text should be same. Again, the length of the key and the plain text should be same. So I am taking randomly any alphabet, N, C, B, T, A. Now to solve this, to convert that plain text, hello, to cipher text, Using this Vernon cipher, what you have to do, you have to follow these steps. First, write the plain text as it is H, leave a bit space, L, L, and O. Now, write, just leave some space here and write the key. The key is N, C, B, T. A. You should remember that the these two alphabets should be in just should look like that they are in line. Will tell you will soon come to know why it. Uh, you will soon come to know why I am telling like this. First, what you have to do, you have to write the number that is related to H. That is here. That is seven. And write the number associated with each alphabet looking this table e is 4 l is 11 again 11 because l is repeated o is 14 n is 13 c is 2 b is 1 t is 19 and a is 0 you have to maintain a distance here, otherwise uh, uh, it will be a problem to you solving this example. Now what you have to do, you have to add this number. 7 plus 13, that is 20. 4 plus 2, that is 6. 11 plus 1, that is 12. And 11 plus 19, that is 30. 14 plus 0, that is 14. Now, the cipher text is the alphabet associated with this number. For example, 20 is associated with U. So, cipher text C equal to 20, that is U. 6, that is what is 6 here? G. 12, that is M. Now here is a problem. We don't have any alphabet associated with 30 because our number stops at 25. Now there is one rule here. Whenever you get any number, whenever you get any number here after addition greater than 25, whenever you get any number here after addition that is greater than 25, you have to subtract 26 from this number. So, 
30 minus 26 so you get 4 30 minus 26 is you get 4 now you have to see what is the alphabet created with number 4 that is E so your answer is E now here this 14 the rule applies only if the number is greater than 25 this number is not greater than 25 if the number is not greater than 25 directly write this numbers associated value that is 14 is 4 so the cipher text for the plain text hello is u g m e and o these are cipher text cipher text c is equal to c g m e o and this is cipher text for the word hello using vernon cipher now we will see how the decryption is done write the cipher text here u g m e o now we are having and key equal to n c b e and a now we are having cipher text c g m e o and key n c b t a now we need plain text we need to find plain text because in decryption we are getting plain text from cipher text so what we will do here you have to subtract key from cipher text so what is u uh, i write again u g m e o N, N, C, B, T, A. Now, as before, write the number related with U. That is, U is 20. G is 6. M is 12. E is 4. O is 14. And N is 13. C is 2, B is 1, T is 19 and A is 0. Now for decryption you have to subtract these two numbers. You have to subtract key from cipher text. So 20 minus 13 that is 7, 6 minus 2 that is 4, 12 minus 1 that is 11 now here is the interesting part 4 minus 19 now when you subtract 4 minus 19 you get a negative number but as I told you before negative number is not allowed so what you get when you subtract 4 from 19 you get minus 15 14 minus 0 that is 14 now here minus 15 is not allowed so whenever you get number negative here you have to remember this whenever you get negative number here you have to add 26 to that number so so we add 26 to 8 so what we get by adding 26 to minus 15 we are going to get positive 11 now that's okay positive 11 uh, is fine with us because we are having some number associated with 11 some alphabet associated with 11 sorry now the plain text is the now the plain text is alphabet that is associated with this number that is 7 and 7 is h 4 4 is e 11 that is L, again 11 that is L and 14 that is O. Student, we got our plain text back. 
plain text equal to hello and we need this so here plain text equal to h e l l o remember you need to get this plain text back otherwise you have made some some mistake somewhere here so what are the two main rules in this technique in this wormhole cipher technique when you add in the encryption process and if you get the number greater than 25 you have to subtract 26 from it and in decryption when you get any negative number by subtracting key from cipher text you have to add 26 to it just remember these two rules and you will be able to easily do the example using wormhole cipher method so this is all about wormhole cipher encryption and decryption now this method is a little bit secure than cipher text because in this method if you get the plain text letter same repeated that is l and l are repeated but see in cipher text you are not getting repeated text in caesar cipher you have seen that for same letters for same l we were getting o and o that were two cipher text letter were also same now so it is secure it is bit secure better and uh, this wormhole cipher method is known to be the one of the best methods it is known to be unbreakable method the reason is this key we are taking is random so it is very difficult to determine what the key was students thank you for watching the video i hope this wormhole cipher technique is clear if you are any, having any doubt comment below and let me know i will solve your doubts as soon as i read your comments for your practice i am giving you one plain text try to solve it and in the comment i am giving you a plain text that is world try to find the cipher text and whatever cipher text you get comment on this video comment on this video so i will come to know that this method is clear to you so i hope you got how to do encryption and decryption using this word on cipher method so see you in next video in next video i will be coming up with some another cipher and doing encryption and decryption explaining in detail how to do encryption and decryption telling you which are the problem you might face when you do so this is all about one on cipher thank you thank you for watching my video